Good morning everyone, I am Anjali Nayak, dietitian at Nimans. Today I will be talking about the topic nutrition in adolescence. Adolescence is one of the most exciting yet challenging periods in human development. It is a period of transition that occurs between 12 and 21 years of age. Adolescence is a period of tremendous psychological, physiological and cognitive development during which a child becomes a young adult. Adolescence is divided into three periods that is early aging from 12 and 14, middle aging from 15 and 17 and late aging from 18 to 21. They gain up to 50% of their adult weight, more than 20% of their adult height and 50% uh, of their adult skeletal mass during this period. Total nutrient needs are higher during adolescence than any other time in the life cycle. A failure to consume an adequate diet during this time can potentially retard growth and delay sexual maturity. Puberty Puberty is a process of physical development from a child to an adult, starts at about 10 years for girls and completes by 15 years and for boys it starts from 12 or 13 years and it's completed by 19. During this period body organs double in size and we can also notice the development of secondary sexual characters. Girls usually reach menage during this growth spurt thus need additional requirements of iron to compensate for menstrual blood loss and calcium to strengthen the bones. Boys, uh, boys also need more iron to develop extra lean body mass. Bone development. Adolescence is a crucial time for bone development where they grow at rapid rate. Uh, include foods rich in protein, calcium, vitamin D and vitamin K. Nutritional problems and health concerns of teens. Smoking, alcohol and drug use can lessen the sense of taste and smell. Decreases absorption, appetite and the level of vitamin C in the body. Poor physical development is seen in majority of the adolescent. Muscle mass is less dense and has poor endurance and tone. Protein rich foods like lean meat, egg white, pulses, milk, milk products help in maintaining muscle mass. Obesity Overeating is seen as a comfort and security measure in the process of overcoming stress. Favorite, uh, favorite foods are usually high in fat, energy and has less nutritional value. Physical exercise and a balanced diet is more effective in treating obesity. Malnutrition and anemia. Inadequate diet can delay or impair healthy development. Treatments include addressing any underlying conditions and replacing missed nutrients. Iron deficiency anemia can result in impaired physical growth, poor cognitive development, reduced physical fitness, work performance and lower the concentration on daily tasks. Regular consumption of iron folic acid supplements along with a diet rich in micronutrients can overcome iron deficiency anemia. Dental caries is seen due to consumption of too much sugars, sweets and poor dental hygiene. Cardiovascular concerns. High blood cholesterol in teenagers means more risk of high cholesterol and triglycerides in adulthood. Consuming heart healthy foods like soluble fibers, omega-3 fatty acid and reducing saturated fats and eliminating trans fat will help prevent cardiovascular disease. Teenage pregnancy. Due to poor dietary habits, teenage girls usually enter pregnancy with reduced nutrient stores and increased risk of nutrient deficiencies. Demand for nutrition is very high during this period. Pregnant teenagers are at a greater risk of developing toxemia, delivering stillborn, premature and low birth weight babies. Eating disorders. Eating disorders are characterized by a persistent pattern of uncontrolled eating and dieting. Types of eating disorders are anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa and binge eating. Treatment include psychotherapy and nutrient education. Female athletic triad. Eating disorders are prevalent in lean sports like swimming, dancing and gymnastics. Reduced body weight leads to amenorrhea and cessation of estrogen production. Amenorrhea leads to decreased calcium absorption and bone loss. 
uh, dieting is a common concern during adolescent years diet trends can lead to unhealthy behaviors such as restricted intake skipping meals taking diet pills or purging after a meal eating out foods at restaurant particularly fast food items tend to have a lot more saturated fats and trans fats than meals prepared at home it is important to choose a meal that contains a balance of lean meat proteins fruits vegetables and whole grains it is important to watch for portion size while eating outside nutritional deficiencies and poor eating habits established during adolescence can have long term consequences including delayed sexual maturity loss of final adult height osteoporosis hyperlipidemia and obesity as for vegetarians adolescent nutritional risk include lack of iodine vitamin b12 vitamin d and some essential fatty acids some of the dietary tips for adolescents are eating a balanced diet emphasizing more on complex carbohydrates cereals and grains are an excellent source of fiber and vitamin b fruits and vegetables contain vitamins minerals and a good source of antioxidants which help boost immunity reduce the intake of trans and saturated fats have nutritious snacks your thoughts make a big difference so maintain a mindset that inspires healthy living